Hey guys, Jungler Spore here, and today what I'm going to be doing is trying to show you how to actually use this little Sports TV mini camera here. Um, I have a couple of videos where I use this, and I'm constantly getting questions about how do you program it, how do you modify the settings, even how you turn it on and use it. And one of the main issues with this is it doesn't have an LCD screen. Almost all little cameras nowadays have an LCD screen with either touch screen or button control and this doesn't have that and it makes it a lot more difficult to work with because there's no visual you know um, optical thing for you to look at and tell you what's going on and people just aren't used to that manual type thing anymore so I'm gonna try to as best as possible show you what you can and cannot do with this camera first let me just talk real quickly about the camera this is a a camera that's out there it's sold under many different brands um i think it's pretty much just one manufacturer that makes it and then they slap different names on it there does appear to be a little bit of a firmware difference between the different cameras the outside of them all look the same and they may have different writing on them but essentially they're all close to being the same camera um with the exception of some some firmware differences um so it makes it hard to actually make one um, you know instruction tutorial that's actually going to fit all of them so this is just take this as a basic guideline to help you understand how it works and what you might and might not be able to do okay so the very first thing to do is you got to put an SD card in it now that's that's important and this is the programming stage okay so the first thing is to get an SD card now it's very important when putting an SD card into this camera the first time that it be freshly formatted okay you can't format it in the camera so you have to format it on your your laptop or computer now my laptop has an SD card slot right here uh, for a standard size SD it uses a micro SD so you're gonna be needing a, a large SD adapter uh, for the card now I use the Samsung Evo Pros these are some of the fastest writing cards you can get um, and at the best price so they're really good cards have a lot of positive reviews that's all, the only brand and card I use for my cameras is a Samsung Evo uh, Pro uh, Pro cards um, if you need a budget one you can use the select they are super good too but I like the pros because they have a much higher writing speed okay now if you don't have this little adapter you'll need some type of a little card reader like this that you can stick the card in this has a card for a big slot and a little slot and then you just plug it over here into the USB of your computer and it'll pop up on screen now we're gonna format the card go ahead and format it we'll just leave it blank format the card and it's formatted okay let's go back there it is right there and the card is completely formatted now take the card out we're gonna stick it into the camera goes in like this All right. once the card is in the camera now we're gonna turn the camera on by pressing and holding the button until it vibrates it vibrates once it actually vibrates three times the blue light is on now the camera is on all right all you got to do is turn the camera on one time now we'll press and hold the button and turn it off okay now we'll take the card out again this time I'll put it inside this right here and we'll put it in the SD card, the SD card reader that's on my laptop And we see that when we turn the camera on, it wrote files to the system, okay? And it wrote these folders. But you see this little one here? This is the one we're talking about. It's called sportsdv.txt. Now, depending on your model of camera, that may be different, but that's what it's called on mine. That's what we're looking for. What we're going to do now is copy this, 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 SD, this little folder onto my desktop we'll just make a copy of it this is our backup copy okay you do always want to make a backup copy of it all right now we'll come here and we'll open it it will open in notepad and then what you're gonna see is a basically a bunch of cryptic lines here now 
there is no instruction manual on how to edit these things okay there's no there's nowhere online will you find anything to be able to to edit these things and what you can and cannot do Mo you just basically got to read it and try to decipher it okay so basically you see right here it says video size zero equals basically 10 uh, 1920 by 1080, uh, 1080, that's 1080p, 30 FPS. Putting a 1 in this right here equals this right here, which is 720p, basically. So if you change that to 1, it will equal this, 720p. Changing it to the number 2 uh, is 720p at 60 FPS, and then changing it to number 3 changes it to this. So you can change the video resolution by modifying this number and basically the rest of it is the same your evaluation level equals six what does six equal six equals basically and basically even okay five equals minus 33 four equals six so you can read this is your instructions on how to program it here okay so what do you want to do you can do like the video clip time is currently set to three minutes. What are your options? Um, zero clip time. Zero equals off loop record. Okay. Two equals three minutes. Three equals five minutes. So it's currently set to three minutes to loop record. Okay. All right. So you come all the way over here and it says three is your max. Well, it says four is 10 minutes. 0 to 3 is max. So that's wrong because it says here 4 equals 10 minutes. So 10 minutes is your maximum potential loop recording. So you come through here and you read all of these different things and they kind of tell you what you can do. You got the ability to switch it from 50 megahertz or 50 hertz to 60 hertz by changing the numbers. And so there you go. There's your instruction manual on how to do this. All right. Now you got your timestamp. So what do you want to do? Let's see. Let's change it to um, let's change it. Let's change the video clip time from to one minute. So we will change this number to one. And now we're going to come up here and we're going to save the file. Okay. Now we'll close the file. Come back over here and open it back up. So we see that video clip time is one now. So it's saved on the card. Now, in order to program the camera, we program that is the settings for your camera. That file right there. Now, you're going to take the, the card out of your computer and put it back in the camera. All right. Now we're going to turn the camera on by holding the button down until the, the cam until you feel it vibrate three times. Okay, now it's on. Now, supposedly, the camera will update the settings of the internal camera from the card. That's how you do it. You're basically going to program it on the card, then put it into the camera and update the camera. Unfortunately, it doesn't always take because sometimes it just the camera, the, the internal file on the camera overwrites the card. Now, why? I don't know. So we hold the button down to turn it on. It vibrates three times. That tells us it's in the it's now on the blue lights on. It's set to 1080p video. So now we're going to start the recording by hitting the, the record button. It vibrates three times, and then the red light comes on and starts blinking. That shows us that it is now recording. Alright, so I'm recording the screen there. And I'm not going to make you watch this, I'm just going to record it for a minute. And uh, we'll see if it does the one minute file. So just hold on there and I'll be back. Okay, so it's been a whole minute. And now we're going to go ahead and turn it off by pressing the power button, the, the record button to turn it off. Actually, you have to hold and press the record button until you feel it vibrate. All right. I haven't used it for a while, so I'm a little rusty on it. But you hold to, to start the recording, you press it real quickly. It starts. To turn it off, you press and hold until you feel it vibrate. And then it turns off, the red light goes off. Now it's out of recording. Now we're going to hold the button down until it vibrates and then wait for it to turn off. The blue light will go out when it's ready to turn off. Okay, so now we can safely remove the SD card. And once again, 
put it back into the SD card adapter, insert it into the laptop, Okay, and here it comes up. All right, so here we go. Now we see that there, let's go with the DCIM. Okay, this is gonna be where it recorded. And let's see, it recorded three files, or and two of them are the exact same size. So let's go ahead and open it in a in the viewer, this is an MOV file, and it's a one minute file. All right, so there you have it. That's how you do it. That's the best I can show you. Um, it's not a you know simple process. It takes a lot of putting the, cap, the card in here, turn it on, turn it off, put it back in there, program it, put it back in here, turn it on, turn it off, you know, check it out. But it, it can be done, and the only way that you can figure out what you can and cannot do is by fiddling with it. Always make up a backup version like I showed you. That way, if you mess up the settings completely um, on the camera, you can install that backup version, put the card in, and reset your camera back to the original settings. So always make a backup version. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please like, subscribe, and comment. Remember, anything that you've seen in this video, the products link is going to be underneath the video in the description area. Just click on the Show More button. Uh, also, connect with me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Until next time, this is the Jungle Explorer signing out. <music>